Hi, I'm Annie, and I love to talk to people about how do you remain hopeful. And one of the ways you remain hopeful is, again, thinking about your thoughts. What I mean by it this time, though, is judgment. You know how we're quick to react? Oh my gosh, that person was rude. Oh my gosh, that person just cut me off. Oh my gosh. And then we have a story. We quickly respond to people. Maybe we snap back. Someone snaps at us and we snap back. I like to think of it when I'm driving down the road and someone cuts me off. You know what I think about those people that cut me off? It doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman. <gasps> I bet they're pregnant and on the way to the hospital. You see, when we think that instead of, oh my gosh, what a jerk, it reserves judgment of another person, but it also allows me to think, give them some grace. Maybe they are in a situation. Or how about when someone snaps at you? Could be your spouse or a coworker. You could think, what is wrong with you? But instead of thinking that or being mad at them, oh, I'm gonna get you back, what if you wondered? I wonder what's going on with them. I wonder what's happening in their life or in their story that's making them snappy or short or negative or cutting someone off. So reserve your judgment. Don't be so quick to respond and react. Instead, take a pause, take a deep breath, and then ask yourself, I wonder what's going on in their life and in their situation. When we do that, it offers us the ability to have more compassion and kindness for those around us. And I think when we reserve judgment, it allows us stay, to stay hopeful that there's more to their story than that moment and that encounter. Will you stay hopeful with me by reserving judgment?